Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at the miscellaneous that's at the top right hand corner of the screen. It says, check for job opportunities in Atlantic City. Now, of course, I am here in the White Spring Refuge right here. And this is brand spanking new as of March 26, 2024 update. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what it has to say. Job posting. Okay, temp security needed. The Lombardi family is in need of an armed errand person to perform certain tasks. This would be temporary role in support of the specific project. Discretion is of the utmost importance and the core responsibilities of the role will be provided if the applicant is hired. All interested parties should speak to Fabio Mondario. <laughs> I probably uh, butchered that in uh, Quintino's for more information. The ideal candidate is one who is diligent, meticulous, and above all, seasoned. Compensation can be negotiated at the competitive rate. All right, let's go ahead and take that. There we go. Regent of the Dead. All right, so travel to the casino quarter. Okay. So, Regent of the Dead, we see it at the top right hand corner of the screen. Let's go ahead and go to our map screen here. We're going to open up Expeditions. Let's go to Atlantic City. Okay, so we see this one here, Casino Quarter. We see a little diamond here. And of course, as we have learned through completing the four quests at the Rose Room, once when we select this, we have to travel to District. If you start New Expedition, you'll be basically doing tax evasion, okay? So in order to continue on with this particular quest that we're on, you must travel to districts. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course, this is a new option as of March 26, 2024 update. Uh, so there we go. Okay, so uh, Regent of the Dead, speak to Fabio Mondadero. <laughs> right on, Jim. Right on, old pal. Okay, so um, here we are, and uh, let's uh, head to Quintino's, which is going to be this way. Now, keep in mind, if you've never been here before, there are going to be enemies around, so you got to be on the lookout. Make sure you have the best armor and the best weapons at your disposal when you come here. All right. And uh, Quintino is just down there. Who's this cat? Mob collector, looks like he's passive. Alright, so he's uh, he's on the lookout here, so let's go ahead inside. Alright, Contrino's nightclub, let's go ahead inside. I kind of like these little quests that uh, they, they're giving us, uh, pretty cool. Okay, speak to Fabio, so let's go ahead and try to find him. It's kind of neat going in here and uh, no one's, you know, wanting to kill you. It's pretty cool. What's that look for? You trying to wrestle? <laughs> wrestle? You want to, who, who wants to wrestle? Huh? <laughs> there he is there. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Wow. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of speaking yet. I'm Fabio. Fabio Mondadori. That's your sir. Oh, Mondadori. Roger that. I'm here for the job posting there, Pally. So you are. Let's, uh, let's get a good look at you. You look sturdy. Uh, weathered, if I may. Weathered. You may be exactly what I'm looking for. Excellent. Now, I'm a generous benefactor and a good friend at that. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. But I, uh, I want to start you off small. See if I can trust you. You prove yourself to me, show me you can handle a bit of a uh, challenge, and then the real work can begin. How does that sound? Um. Yeah, what do you need me to do there, bud? Simple as, my friend. There's some uh, ne'er-do-wells hanging around the casino quarter trying to rough up the family's patrons for a few caps. 
Pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> Regardless, I need you to deal with them. How you do so is up to your discretion. In huh. fact, I would be curious to learn your methodology. You deal with them, and I promise you, you will be well paid. We uh, take care of our own here. Roger that. Do we have a deal? Sure. Say no more, I'll do it. What do you want me to do with them? Yeah, he doesn't care. Where can I find them? Well, they should be outside in the casino quarter. They like to hang around this area, waiting for our patrons to come out of the casino. Outside, eh? Okay. You might want to try looking around the old storefronts. Could be hiding out in there. All right, let's go ahead. Your words are reassuring. Let's hope your <laughs> actions mirror them. Come back when our friends outside are dealt with. Roger that. Okay, deal with the gang. Awesome. You, uh, staying in Atlantic City for a while longer? You can't really still complain about that. This is pretty cool. was a made man. And his father for him. Somebody got to do the top of taste the devil's blood. And not Richard Finney. All right, let's head outside. Now, of course, we're, uh... <laughs> I don't know how hairy this is going to get, but, uh... Any wise guy who starts trouble around here... Deal with the gang. Really wise. Let us know if you All right, so we see, uh... Stay clear of the Baron. A little diamond there. Let's get rid of that rad rat. Make sure our other weapon is, uh, locked and loaded here. Just in case, backup. You know, need a good backup weapon. So again, I'm going in on this cold. I uh, first time ever uh, seeing this. So let's go ahead here, deal with the gang. Make sure we. Jordy. Pretty dark in here, guys. Hold it right there. I don't think you belong here. Huh. Yeah, okay, you know what? Mind telling me what you're doing walking in here like you own the place? I heard you've been shaking casino patrons up for their caps. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't look like a muni to me. Don't know why it matters to you. Sounds to me like you got steered in the wrong direction. We've been shaking some people up for caps, as you put it. But not patrons. The fact that you use that word tells me that the family sent you. <laughs> We've been shaking up Quintino's louts for their caps. Who's going to miss a few mobsters? I'm not an unreasonable woman. How about you just turn around and walk away? And I'll forget this ever happened. <laughs> Charisma. Why rob mobsters when the showmen are the real feeble... <laughs> Entertainers, ripe for the picking. Pack it up and move, or I'll skip rope with your spine. <laughs> Can we just talk this out? Attack. We have intelligence here. Uh, why don't you just rob me instead? Yeah, it's okay. Let's do the. Um, let's do charisma eight plus. Well, when you put it that way. All right, we'll pack it up and move on. Pack it up, pack it in. You can tell your little hammer we won't be causing trouble around here anymore. Huh, that's easy. All right. Uh, smell you later. That cat up there walking. See that? Walk is like a couple of uh, watermelons under his arms there. See him? Burp. <laughs> Get inside here. Where he calls all his little buddies. Alright. 
Shut that off. Shut the light off and get it out of my eyes. You know where I could get a good hoodie? Wonder how long it'll be. Get a good what? Uh, I don't know what she said there. What of the gang? Are they dead or gone? Like dissipating vapor. Taking care of Jordy and her gang. So you did, so you did. And in your own way as well. Very, very interesting. Words can only tell you so much about a person, but actions? Well, actions tell you everything. I like this guy. The gang of lowlifes I sent you to track down was just a test, a trial run to see if you can handle the real work that needs to get done. You see, my organization, the Lombardi family, we've been uh, disorganized for some time now, rudderless, filled with questions. It's not good for a <laughs> cult of personality to lack one, you understand? Now, as I'm sure you can see, I'm not Quentino Lombardi. I'm not the Don. Yet. Quentino himself has been uh, absent for some time, silent. It's not in his character. We've been told he's just been ill from old age. At the very least, that's what his kid sister Concerta has been saying. She's been strutting around, giving orders, claiming they're from Quintino. Not all of us are foolish enough to take such things at face value. I need you to play detective for me. Dig up dirt on her. Find the truth. If Quintino is, for whatever reason, gone, then the position of Dawn is open. And I would be very yourself, interested in that today. position. That I could reward you quite handsomely. Do you here. think you could do some digging for me? I sure can, but... <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd turn an opportunity like this down. As to where you should start, look to the Neapolitan Casino. And Sheridan lives in the largest suite within its hotel wing. I need you to search her room and find whatever evidence you can. That woman is hiding something. I know she is. I think that's the room that's locked. Whatever that may be, return to me. Don't come back until you do. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Neapolitan. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Love it. This is pretty cool. I like this. This is awesome. Lock and load here. That elder thorn could be outside waiting for me. Ready to shake this. Ready to shake me down. Oh, he's gone. Okay. So the Neapolitan is uh, this way. I love doing stuff like this. <laughs> Don't know what it is. All right. Search the room for clues. Let's go ahead here. As I said, I believe it's... Um, I believe that room. I think the room, the room they're talking about, I think it's locked. But uh, we'll check it out here. It's through most. Oh. Is it connecting room? No. The thing up and get inside there? No. Blood 
others if you waste it already. I won't stand for it. Find the key. Or we could just unlock it. I've got a job to do. Oh. Well, let's go try to find the key, I guess. I wonder if this person's in here. Probably too scared to fight. Can't blame them. What's this? This is the most happening place in AC. Why do you ask me? Left the caps exactly what you told me. Put them in the rooms. Locked up tight. Don't worry. There's a. I've left the key behind. Be downstairs in my office, but the overgrown are scalling by the door. All right. Downstairs in my office, but the overgrown. Whatever that means. Let's try if we can. Oh. Seems like it wants to, but uh, I got all kinds of bobby pins here. But oh, 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 we're we're other way. Other way, Jimmy Pal. Bit more, a little bit more. Burp. There we go. Who needs a key? Who needs a key? Okay. Uh, gather the evidence. Let me know if you went for the key. I know where these cats are. It's doing all the yapping. I wonder how long it'll be before the Don shows his mug again. I caught Sal tampering with the Oh, I do, guys. Uh oh. Yeah, they seem really close. All right, let's check her out here. There to Charlotte. You can go ahead and pause that and read it if you so wish. I'm just gonna take it. All right, that doesn't really count as anything, I guess. Not really much here uh, showing evidences. Oh, what's this? All right. Gift box sits inside the fridge. This instantly strikes you as bizarre. After all, most people don't keep wrapped presents inside their freezer. Upon opening the gift box, you discover a vial of macrop design containing a blood red liquid. Okay. All right, one of five. Okay. Get uh, mob collectors' uh, guts here all over this place here. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Good job, Jeff. Good job. Self a pat in the back for that one. Oh, what's this? It's nothing to do with anything. Let's try the uh, auto unlock this computer here. Check this inbox here. Again, you can go ahead and pause it if you so wish and and read it. I start going so fast, right guys? Ah, oh, secondary account. Huh. Pretty 
Where have you been? Message encrypted. Of course it is. Okay. Uh, personal logs. These are just, 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 we'll check to see if there's anything there. I highly doubt it, but. Okay. Uh, nothing really showed up there. We're still one for five, so that's, uh, that's interesting. Oh, stack of books. Investigate. See that? So this is what you're going to do sometimes. I've come across this only a few times in this game. But um, just kind of roll up to these books here, investigate. Your eye is drawn to a stack of books lying on the table beside you. At first glance, these would seem entirely innocuous. Uh, however, you notice them. The binding of the book at the bottom of the stack has no title or author written on it. Pull out the bottom book and notice there's entirely a hollow it has a brass opening in which there was pages should be, almost like it's some sort of key. Okay, there's two of five. All right, so that's probably what we gotta do here. Okay, there's a caged uh, candle here. Let's investigate that. A wax candle burns inside of a cage. It's an odd design choice, but not totally outlandish. <laughs> right on. Upon further investigation, the candle appears to be of the same make as the votive candles commonly lit at funerals, okay? Okay, so that's three of five. Good stuff. Good stuff. Then we can go back and investigate that stuff. So let's, uh, I'm not going to activate that radio. Let's keep going here. See what else we can find. And that's what it's going to be. Floral vase take. No, it's okay. We'll just kind of go on uh, stuff and see if something pops up. Floral vase. Nope. Okay. So that's it. So we're three of five. Let's check this stuff here. See if there's anything that says investigate. Nothing there. They didn't have anything on them. Oh, look at that. A cra cracked mirror. There we go. Evidence. There we go. Upon examining a broken mirror, you notice there's some dry blood on it. It, Its presence is faint. But if there was an attempt made to clean it up, the mirror seems to have been intentionally broken as if someone smashed it in a fit of rage. Okay. Okay, so four or five. We just need one more. Let's keep going here. We'll just check everything as we go. Vanity. Kind of running out of options here. We'll check these books. Let's check this bathroom. Just unpack in there. Aluminum scrap, sure. Oh, I like that there. Um, Atacol, uh, investigate. Canister of Atacol lies on the shower floor, covered in blood. It's entirely used up. Someone took this in a desperate bid for a cure. Given all the blood, it doesn't look like it worked. Okay. Good stuff. Now, uh, okay, you see an update. Investigate the piano. Let's go ahead and do that. This is so cool. I like this stuff. What's this? You already checked in here. All right, let's investigate the piano here. Examine. Run your fingers over the keys, press each one. Strangely, one of the keys won't press down. Seems like there's something stuck underneath it. Read the change of plans note. What? All right. Um, let's go here under note. Let's see that that's here. Change of plans. Yeah, right there. 
change of plans right on. Let's go ahead and uh, read it here. Uh, C moved Q into the old guest house behind his office. I sure hope you know what you're doing, Billy. Let's go ahead and take that. Okay, locate the Don's office. That's how you do that, guys. That's pretty awesome. Okay, locate the Don's office. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if we're going to be... All right, so these, no one's coming after us. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, lady. I hear you. Do you know if it's happy hour? Employees only. Close this door. out of those caps? Or you're gonna invest them wisely at the Neapolitan. Look at the Don's office. Search the room for anything suspicious. Okay. <laughs> this baseball bat looks suspicious. <laughs> What's this here? Reminder. God, I hate math. Okay. Sounds good. Anything suspicious in the details. Let's check this stuff here. Just kind of go through everything <clears throat> as we can. Oh, strange uh, bookcase that's on the other side here. This bookcase seems to be attached to the wall. You attempt to slide the odd book you picked up earlier into the shelf, and it fits with an oddly perfect click. However, nothing seems to happen. Maybe keypad to the side of the bookcase has something to do with it. Investigate the keypad. Find the code. Okay. High rollers lounge keys. Grab those. A pre bunch of pre-war money here. Find the code. Let's check the uh, terminal here. I wonder if that's like a little puzzle. Huh. Let's um just look into maybe write this down here. I don't know if it's gonna matter, but uh So just gonna excuse me for a second here. Okay, so um as you can probably tell, I cut the video. <laughs> I was trying to search around, trying to find the code for this keypad. So, the only thing I could think of is there was a letter that was on top of this typewriter here. And it was called In the Details. And you can see it has the little diamond in it, so it'll be in your notes section after you pick it up. And this is where it'll be. It'll be right on this typewriter here. So when you open up the note, okay, um... Basically, if you read this note, Devils in the Details, much as it's true, the story that begins here, the key lies in the very beginning. So, all I can think of is when you look at the beginning of each little uh, sentence, like the blood that spilled trickles upward, we take a look at T in the, and then payment is invertible, even from those who have it all. So in payment, it'll be P. And health is the only commodity of the rich and the comfortable. We're going to look at the H in health. Death follows the clarity after the rush. So D for death. And then sins of the sun 
follow the Godfather. S for sins. So then when you look at this uh, terminal here and it gives you, you know, what each letter is, every one of those letters you can find in here. So T, P, H, D, S. So six, eight, four, nine, two. So we're going to try it here. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully I won't have to cut it again, but that's that's the only thing I could find in terms of notes that we picked up that I'm able to read. That ha That's pertaining to this quest that possibly correlates to this terminal. <laughs> Let's go to the keypad here. So six. So six for T. Uh, eight for P. Four for H. 9 for D and 2 for S. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get in here before it closes. Look at the caps. Oh, they, he is dead. There's Quintino Lombardi. He's dead in the little room here. Wow. So 335 caps. Gold pocket watch, silver, okay, fancy hairbrush, right on. Okay, so let's, uh, death note, patient, name, Lombardi, Quintino, time of death, 2254. Autopsy request is no. <laughs> patient was in coherent mental state upon arrival by temperature exceed 38 degrees Celsius. Sweat excessively and was unable to lift ex extremities without aid. Extremities, eh? Preliminary examination denotes no numeral or skeletal injuries. Uh, patient was suffering from nonstop tremors. One attendee present. Concerta and party. Okay. The patient's sister was present for the death. Let's go next. Okay. You can go ahead and read that there if you so wish. Dr. Frankie Utility MD, okay. Let's go ahead and take that. We're going to probably need that. Uh, looks like we can't open that up. What else is in here that we can grab? Uh, we got this uh, to Tony. Probably never going to read this, are you? It's the most hopeless feeling in the world, I will tell you. Just screaming into the void while I can practically feel my body giving in from the inside out. No one will ever lay eyes on this piece of paper. I know you'll feel like you let me down, but the truth is I let you down. I was supposed to watch your back. Keep an eye out for you. I lost track of things and it started spiraling out of control. I could turn it back time. I would burn that first shipment of blood. But we both, uh, no, I can't do that. It's poisonous, the damn thing. Sweetness of sugar coursing through the blood. Just like sugar rots the teeth. There's something about this chem that decays your blood. Makes its ache. Every thing that flows through me aches. I should have been alive to hand you this reins of La Costa Nostra <laughs> to your personal. I should have been well enough to stand up to declare your authority, but I wasn't, and it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Kid, I really am. I saw dollar signs in the end. I screwed us both. Okay, doesn't even say who that is. Interesting. Let's go ahead and take that. Okay, report back to uh, Fabio. So that's a shame. Oh, that's good. That's good. So again, <laughs> that little note was on here. And um, this terminal. So, yeah. <laughs> good luck with that, guys. Oh, who's that? So, Concerta. Wow, you're pretty rough. That will bring down my brother's empire? You, and you alone? So, you're the catalyst that will bring down my brother's empire? You, and you alone? Fascinating. Fascinating. How about you say it again? <laughs> Perception. Catalyst. You and Fabio sure like your, uh, yeah, melodramatics there. 
Well, you could say I have a bit of a poetic streak. As for Fabio, <laughs> he's more of an actor than a poet. He lives in his verbiage instead of writing it. Nevertheless, I hope you can look past my honeyed words to see through to their meaning. I don't expect you to pity me. Nevertheless. The mad queen of Atlantic City. Whose subjects could and never would respect her if she stepped out of the shadows. I've been standing in the shadow of my brother my entire life. The machinations of the family emanating from my whispers in his ear. It wasn't until he found peace that I started to lose my foothold. He was my shield, the visor that obscured my visibility in the public eye. But now... He's gone. Not by my hands, mind you. <laughs> but by the very substance that made him rich. The only other contenders for the Godfather's chair are fools. They will run the empire for which I bled my entire life into the ground. I did not take the family from Quintino. I made it. I know what I want to do. So you didn't kill Quintino? No. Contrary to popular belief, I am not some witch. I loved my brother. Hot headed and stubborn as he was. He got too big for his breeches one day. As he often did. And sampled some of his product. Became addicted to blood. There is no weaning off blood. No cure, no ten step plan. You stop taking it, and you... Oh, we found a cure. <laughs> Why didn't Quintino just name you his his successor? Yeah. Your naive day makes me nostalgic for an... She's female, time. probably. <laughs> it's not due to some falling <laughs> or hatred. No. It is simply due to my... nature. The family is rooted in customs from back home. We're from a small village near Naples. There are certain traditions that are to be followed if you're the one who lives by the rules. My brother was too stupid to see beyond it. Yes. I had to resort to more subversive means to take what had always been mine. You've been calling the shots the whole time. You're the one who put the hit on Antonio. So you've heard. I should get out and clear my head. Yeah. Oh. That was me. It was her. Antonio was, well, and is to a degree, the greatest threat to my power. He doesn't care about honor or loyalty. He cares only about money. And how much he can hoard to himself. He may That's be an adept wins, eh? businessman. Well, not tonight, but he would make a poor leader. And dog. even a worse godfather. The family would fall. Under his leadership. Huh. Still no luck. Get out and Why should I believe you and not Fabio? Fabio is a politician who lies endlessly through his teeth. He's full of pretty words and bleep huh? smiles. Little else. Like some of his competitors, he just wants power and wealth. He doesn't care about preserving the legacy and glory of the family. He'll run it into the ground and sell us out to every muni taxman and boardwalk juggler in Atlantic City for a few cups. All right, I know what I want to do. And what would that be, pray tell? <laughs> you convinced me, concert of the family you should stay under your leadership. I want to see you stay in power, but I'm not going to kill Fabio to help you get your way. You'd be just as bad as him. Someone as wise as you should be able to understand when your time in the spotlight is over, it's time to let go. Hey, oh, we got luck here. Eight plus. Uh, you're verbose, so wise. You know what? 
I just forget this whole thing. I'll just go back to Appalachia. Attack. I came here to do a job. And I'm going to finish that job. Okay, um... Let's try to do Crin Charisma. The spotlight was never mine to be had. I was forever lurking beyond its limits, searching for a way in. But I am sure you've seen the barrier that separates light from darkness. There is no door. Those like me, who linger in darkness, are not meant for such light. That is... Unfortunately, quite clear to me now. The truth is cold and harsh. <laughs> but there is one thing that cannot be denied about it. Its ferocity. Fabio can have his throne. Empires rise and fall, raise and simmer. If it's time for mine to do so, <laughs> then maybe I just have to accept. I won't fight you on it. I know a lost cause when I see one. And I shattered my mirror for that very reason. There is much at stake here. Okay. More than you could ever know. Talk to you later. Yeah, you look a lot better in the in the uh, the dark there. <laughs> Just saying there, lady. All right, let's head back to uh, Fabio. Holy. Let's get back here to Quintino's. Let's uh, get something in us here. Well, I'm glad we got to that back uh, back door there. All right, let's go back to Quintino's if we can. And that is over this way. Still have a pulse. What a stroke of luck that is. <laughs> Spoke with your little friend, and she agreed to a peaceful transfer of power. <laughs> a peaceful transfer of power. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure she believes <laughs> that. Still, it'll uh, make her more vulnerable, more uh, resigned to her fate. Should be easier to take her out. So, you have done me quite the service. Huh, whatever you want to do, bud. The Overgrown are getting in again. This is the most happening place in AC. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, my word for it now. <laughs> Let's, uh. Yeah. Certainly. Oh. Don't offend me so cruelly. I never forget to reward those who serve me faithfully. You've done well. Very well. Exceptionally well. And your reward, well, your reward will match your success. I was not lying when I said I'm a very generous okay. benefactor and friend. You've made a friend out of me, Arbiter. Friend, yeah, right on. How about we get you back to Apple? Arbiter. You came in on that uh, vertebra, didn't you? Your reward will be waiting for you there. 
There we go. Quest complete. Region of the dead. Done. Nice. Got some caps out of it. I'm pretty much maxed out on caps. Let's uh, see what we get here. Civil engineer, pneumatic armor, torso. Okay, good stuff. We get some good stuff there. Let's take a look at that in the new section. Civil engineer, cushion, armor, legs. Civil engineer, pneumatic torso. Armor torso, okay, okay. Uh, heavy robot torso, which is weird. Okay. And that's uh, pretty much it. Good stuff. So um, I did make a video on the Civil Engineer armor set. You could check that video out on my channel. It's uh, it's not too bad. It's cool, but uh, you could check out that video and I'll. Everything's all time stamped in the video to help you out there. Uh, let's get out of here because it's uh, fairly uh, noisy in there. And uh, that one there is done. So that's not too, too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm glad we got... Uh, <laughs> glad we got through that little um, mess there with the keyboard. Keypad, I should say. But that's the only thing I could think of, and uh, hopefully you guys will find it uh, useful in your in your little quest if it if you run into trouble. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members: Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind One Thirty Eight. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.